Hi, today I'm going to share about the progress of my essay. I've picked question two as my essay topic, which is about how hum humans are trying to project their own feelings onto animals in movies, books, or even comics. So uh, the reason why I chose question two is that the phenomenon of animals being created as characters in movies, books, or even comics is not rare in today's society. People create animals as creatures that can talk, walk, and even have emotions and feelings as humans. So I'd like to take a more in-depth look into the current situation. And I, I plan to write my essay using the example of Finding Nemo, which is a movie. And it, was, it is about a clownfish called Nemo who was separated from his family and his family, his father and his um, friend tried so hard looking for him. So um, I think this movie has indicated three things that humans are actually trying to project onto um, the animal characters that they have created. The first one is the, the deepest hope is that uh, the unconditional love between Nemo and his families and friends has projected the phenomenon of the absence of love between people in today's society. Like, um, as people, and people in today's society are trying are trying so hard to find love, but they always cannot find it. So um, they project that onto onto movies and try to fulfill their dream. And they said also they. Uh, there was a happy ending after Nemo's adventure. He gathered with his family, <clears throat> and that showed that people may not always get the results they want in real world. So they try to project that onto the movie again. And also, second, for fear, Nemo's father was afraid of losing him. That pr that has projected that people are afraid of losing their own children. People are afraid of their own children getting hurt mentally or physically. And also, Nemo was afraid of the fact that he may not be able to see his father again, which has projected that children want to see want to stay with his families. However, some parents choose to divorce, which causes their children to have an incomplete family. And the last thing is the aspirations. Nemo tried to so hard to get back to his father, which has projected that people do not want to quit when they're encountering difficulties. That's why I think uh, the movie Finding Nemo is such a good example with, to, in, to indicate that how people are trying to project their, uh, project their deepest hopes, fear, or aspirations onto the animal characters they create on, on movies, books, or even comics. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.